And ahead of the big UN gathering, a series of strong warnings to North Korea from the US, with senior officials stressing a military strike will soon be the only available option. Washington's envoy to the United Nations is also telling Pyongyang that the United States has plenty of military options at its disposal should it be forced to use them. Kim Hyo Sun with the details. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has stressed that a military response will be the only option left to deal with North Korea's nuclear issue once diplomatic efforts fail. During an interview with CBS on Sunday, Tillerson said the Trump administration's strategy on Pyongyang involves a, quote, peaceful pressure campaign, which is aimed at bringing the regime back to the table for constructive and productive dialogue. Also on Sunday, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. warned the North that there are a lot of military options on the table. Nikki Haley told CNN that the U.N. Security Council has run out of options to rein in North Korea. Her comments ahead of the annual U.N. General Assembly indicate that Washington will not back down from its military option, especially as the regime conducted yet another ballistic missile test on Friday. U.S. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster also warned the Kim Jong-un regime to give up its nuclear weapons as President Trump will not tolerate nuclear threats to the U.S. homeland. Speaking with ABC on Sunday, McMaster highlighted that Washington will find a fundamentally different approach to deal with the North as past sanctions have clearly failed. He also told Fox News that Washington needs to move fast as Pyongyang continues to conduct nuclear and missile tests. McMaster stressed that a sense of urgency is key, whether through sanctions, diplomacy, or even military options. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.